Thank you for watching another video by Impound Comics. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Brent Trey Sands, the writer and the creator of the Impound Universe, and we are back for another episode of the Impound Podcast with my co-host Kyron Shank. We back. We back, baby. It's we been a minute. Back. It's been a minute. It's it's been it's been a it's been a good minute. You know what I'm saying? We just had the you know good old Halloween party. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? yeah. Appreciate y'all for coming out. By the way, one time for the one time. <laughs> Adrenaline party is gonna turn into the biggest cosplay anime themed party in everywhere. That's facts. The goal of it. Facts, facts, facts. Our next one is uh, December 19th. December 19th. Yes, good old, good old holiday party. So you know what I'm saying? Come out, dress up as as always. Halloween was pretty dope. You know what yeah. I'm saying? How, how, how'd you feel about it? It was great, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was better than the first one. As yeah. <laughs> long as it progressively gets better, that's all you could ask for. You facts, know? facts, facts. And facts. Uh, the next one will be even better and just keep growing on that brand. That's, that's yeah, the goal of it. Yeah, the fits were dope. The uh, the costumes were amazing. Cosplays were amazing. The music was dope as well. Shout out to our DJs. You know what I'm saying? Crystal the DJ. Yes, sir, you went crazy. Other than that, it was a it was a, it was a dope it was a dope event, man. Yeah. Like I was extremely uh, proud of the turnout. Of course, everybody had a blast. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. No, nah, it was it was it was better, you know. And the first one was great. Yeah. So the venue opens up and can get bigger, and we use the bigger, fuller size, and you know it was more people came, and that's the goal. We're just gonna keep growing on that. It was fire. So if you haven't. Uh, follow the Adrenaline Parties on Instagram. Follow Adrenaline Parties. It's hosted by Impound Comics. And uh, we have much more coming in the future. So, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all yeah. come out. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, man, let's get straight into it, man. Let's get straight There's into it, a lot you? of dope stuff that's came out. A lot of terrible yes. stuff that's came out. Stuff that's still to come out. Oh my God. And I want to ask you, uh, I want to ask you, a uh, agree or disagree? Okay. Venom has the worst superhero trilogy. I strongly disagree. I Which one would you say is worse? I strongly disagree. I would probably say trilogy-wise. Trilogy-wise, yeah. Mm. Damn. <laughs> trilogy I would, makes it different. Damn, it does. Because low-key, I was going to say The Amazing Spider-Man, but there's only two movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, mm. Mm. Man, I think I'm biased, though, because I, I like Venom. Yeah, I, 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 I love I, Venom. Yeah, like um, I, I was, I would say I really liked the first one. Yeah, and it was a great first start. Vex. I Vex. did not like the second one at all, and I think most people didn't. And it was, didn't. we were all waiting for that one. Like Venom and Carnage was like Deadpool and Wolverine. Vex. Um, in a sense they of just... like what we we've been wanting this movie, and it ruined it. And then the third one is very mid. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It was pretty mid. I I have I just have a couple just just a couple discrepancies about it. Like I love the fact because I mean Venom 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 himself is a very anti hero. He's a very you know just wild guy. Yeah. The emotional standpoint I didn't like as much as like we've never seen Venom in that emotional standpoint. Yeah. Where he's all heartfelt and sappy. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like I mean, they still captured him for what he was, and I loved, I love the fighting action with the rest of the symbiotes. Yeah. That shit was fire. I like, I love the final scene. Final scene was amazing. Yeah. One thing I just have a crazy gripe with was how they did know. Yeah, it just some some people were saying they think they just added them into the movie later and money found grab. pieces. Yeah, for money grab. Mm -hmm. like, I could see that too, though, because because I was excited. Like I, I mean, I fell for it. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, like no, he didn't. We didn't even just other than the the, the dangling strings of hair. We we got nothing. <laughs> we got nothing. You are champion. But uh, falling. but uh, that's all we're getting. <laughs> so, do you still agree or disagree? Uh, I don't. Uh, all the trilogies, the only one I can even think of that could rival it in the terms of bad, because usually a, a movies don't get to a trilogy if they haven't been right. going well. Right. Um, it's probably Ant Man. Yeah. But Do you think the Venom trilogy is worse than the Ant Man trilogy? The only reason, the only reason why, and that's a close, that's close, because again, Ant Man, he, he just doesn't have everything that we were already expecting from Venom. Yeah. Marvel tried to do it with Ant-Man. Ant-Man, to... at Venom had a higher expectation. Exactly. Yeah. And on top of that, on top of that, Ant-Man had a lot of support yeah. when it comes to just different characters being involved and actually, you know, interesting characters. Yeah. For one, 
you know, unfortunately, King, with, with King the Conqueror coming in, I thought we was about to just get something astounding with um, with uh, Ant Man. You know, the quantum quantum media shit. Yeah, but it fell flat. Yeah. So he was the only good part of the movie, he was really. The only good part. So, yeah. Uh, so, so yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Ant Man was is probably the worst. Oh, you think Ant Man's worse? Ant Man's worse. I think Venom. All right, all right, all right, you I Venom? look. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I, th I think Ant Man is a close. It's close, you know. But I just Venom. I think Kang and Quantumanium was still great. Saved them. Yeah, but I think Quant. I would still like. I like Quantumanium more than I like uh, Venom versus uh, Carnage. I think right. the worst of the Venom is worse than the worst of Ant-Man. Ah. Because the second Ant-Man was also just very, very... It was okay. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't great. That was the one with Ghost. Yeah. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I... It wasn't bad. But it wasn't... It was, it's not a top tier film yeah. either. Yeah. And which, is, which is how I feel about Venom 3. But I think um, I think I like Ant-Man 2 more than Venom 3. If I was... If, if, if we were to compare, right, as far as, you know, Ant-Man 1, Venom 1... Ant Man two, Venom two, Ant Man three, Venom three. Where are you going with it? As far as like you know, verse wise. I think um, I think that people would probably say Ant Man one is better than Venom one, but I personally like Venom one because I don't care about Ant Man. Yeah. Um, if we go two for two, Ant Man one on okay. the on the two, okay. and then three for three, I would say, as a movie, Venom's might be this much better, maybe, or maybe not. I think. Kang is better than everything in Venom 3. Good Lord, yes. So that kind of changes my that idea. You know what I mean? Um, I think the low of Venom is lower than the low of Ant-Man. That's how I feel. If I was to do that and rank that again, I'm going, as far as Ant-Man 1, Venom 1, going Venom. As far as Ant-Man 2, Venom 2, going Ant-Man. Venom 3 versus Ant-Man 3, it is so close. Because yeah. I do like the way how everything was shot in Venom 3. And I do... I just, I just think it was so much filler for Venom Three to yeah. the point where they're just trying to waste time. It's yeah. like, yo, get me to, get me to why Noel is here in the first place, and I want to know what we're gonna do about it. And there was parts that was us, and this more spoilers. Um, oh, I didn't I see Venom Three. I well, we had, we hadn't said anything <laughs> oh. that was like spoiler worthy yeah. like that, but now I was gonna say something more in the movie. Ah. But um. And then just the part, it was just a little, it, it was pushing Goofy a little bit too much. Because when Venom was in Las Vegas, he's wanted to dance with the lady. And he knew oh, if yeah. he goes into his <laughs> form, shame. the dude's going to find him. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? Why would you do that? All right. You're it, the one that told us you can't go into right. your form. <laughs> so that, that part shame. really irritated me. Uh, um, but yeah, I, 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 would, I would say as far as trilogies go, I yeah. think Venom would probably be the lowest. Oh, damn. Yeah. Damn. But most trilogies overall are not that bad. So that's a right. that's a higher bar. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, but the next one, Gladiator 2 will live up to the hype. Ooh. You know what? Side note, because I just I just what do y'all y'all better not judge me. I just watched Troy. I, I know watched. you told me. That was annoying. And, that was such an annoying text message to get. <laughs> but, like, Troy's pretty good. It's like, duh. <laughs> what are you talking oh, about? Hey, <laughs> Troy was cold from beginning to end. They did not stop. I'm it was like, just like, duh. I'm like, yo, I, 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 I would low-key have to say Troy probably better than Gladiator. But I think I. that's a hard one to say. I think Troy could be, I think for me, Troy might be yeah. more a little bit more exciting, maybe, but I think Gladiator is a better story. Yeah, and I and movie. Story. I think it was shot better. Yeah, like I just I think it had more emotion. Yeah, uh, but I love both of those movies. So that's your you're asking me to, you know what I that, mean? Hey, hey, that, I was about to ask you that, but okay. So yeah, I Gladiator. love both of those movies. I love them for different reasons in the same genre, though. Right, Gladiator two living up to Gladiator one. Uh, I'm actually gonna rewatch it again. But the fact that Denzel's in this and he's basically playing the mastermind behind, you know, basically getting in this next gladiator, um, having him come to power, I think it will just because, I think honestly just because of Denzel. <laughs> like, well, uh, Denzel, I just watched an interview where Denzel was saying um, the, and I know he probably has to say this because they're promoting the movie, yeah. but he said the, the actor that, I don't know his name, that's the lead role, yeah. he said, He's one of the only actors in a long time that I've been on set with that I was genuinely impressed with. He said, he said, he, Denzel was like, he carried in this movie. And he was like, okay. I don't say that. 
So I was just watching Denzel talk about him, and he was like, man, he was like, he got it. The new gladiator. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So Interesting. that was dope to hear him say that. Um, and, you know, the dude was just like, man, thank you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> coming from you, you know, that has to be, like, the highest. It's like, it's like Jordan or Kobe endorsing you. Of course. Um, you know, but, yeah, so I, I, I hope it does. You know, uh, I hope it does. I, I I think it will. When when there's a sequel of a movie like this, and they usually take this much time, I feel like the script coming back has to be beautiful. And I just don't believe Denzel takes bad movies. Right. Like I'm ha, like how many bad movies has Denzel been in? Like I can't even name like the ones that maybe the Equalizer is probably is worse, I, and people really? still enjoy those movies. Really. Let's, what would say, you say? I was about to say the one movie. It's uh, it's like a detective movie, um, because I hate it. It was it was trash. It was trash. He's a detective oh, very God. very often, so that yeah, doesn't I, 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 that I didn't it's like not, narrow it down. Wait wait, well, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Denzel was law enforcement. Like, okay. Oh my God! I mean, because yo, because inside, because inside man you was said? hard. Yeah, I'm inside like, man was hard. I'm thinking inside day training. I mean, inside man training day. Like, training day was. <laughs> fire as well. Oh my two God. guns. I'm like, two guns he's, fire. He's as been well. a detective. Bro. Or you know what was probably Denzel's worst movie and it still what? was great? The Little Things. That's what it is. The Little Things. You know what's funny? I actually Horrible. don't think, I've actually never seen that one. Horrible. But I was going to say um, the one with the speeding train and it was still entertaining though. Taking a Pelham 1, 2, 3? No, that's not a speeding train. That's a hijack train. There's a oh, speeding train. A speeding train. The speeding oh, oh, train oh. is with who played Kirk. Who Him played? and Captain Kirk. Oh. Not, not the original Kirk, yeah, the yeah, one yeah, that's yeah. the newer Kirk. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah, on a train yeah. that was just going too fast through all the cities. And they were trying, yeah, they, yeah, and they were trying to stop, stop it. it. Yeah. I'm like, not oh, that yeah, train no, movie. Yeah, yeah. That's a heist train, not yeah, a speed okay. train. <laughs> I mean, technically, it was still kind of going fast. Yeah. Going fast. But it was more, they act, it, was a, it was under control of uh, <laughs> bandits. This one was just, they just couldn't physically stop it. Oh, my God. But yeah, right, like that, I probably think that's probably his worst movie, but the fact that he did say that. But most movies. Most movies, yeah, he's. You know, top tier. So, you know, when you you see Denzel in a movie, it's already at a certain standard. It has to be. Let me see. Hold on. And then Unstoppable. That's unstoppable. What you, that's what you was thinking mm-hmm. of. And that's still <laughs> an entertaining movie. I, I, it's like you, it sounds dumb. And you're like, why would you take this movie? And you watch it, like, man, this movie's actually really, really entertaining. I gotta, I gotta watch that again. Yeah. Hmm. All right, we got Man of Steel is the most underrated superhero movie. Oh wow. Mm. I would agree to that. I would agree to that because, crazy enough, when I did watch Man of Steel, I wasn't too familiar with Henry. And yeah. I was just like... Most people weren't. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, this is... Damn, he's pretty he's pretty straight. But then, like, after all of these other superhero movies, including Marvel, like, I'm like, shit, like... That boy is the Superman at this yeah. point. He is the Superman. And DC still didn't know how to, you know what I'm saying, really um, really use him or utilize Superman and Henry as what it should be as far as their centerpiece. But I still, yeah, yeah, yeah. the most underrated, the most underrated. How you feel? I I agree. I, I love Man of Steel. Right. Um, I, think, I think it gets random hate unnecessarily. It's It's... Debatably in my top ten favorite films, it would probably fall on ten, but I love that movie. Mm. Now it's like I would have to sit down and rethink my list now. Yeah. But when I was doing a list like two years ago, yeah, it was it was tenth for me. Facts. I love that movie. Facts. You know, so I don't understand the hate of it. Um. Yeah. Real quick, real quick, because now since we are talking about Gladiator, and I cannot wait to see that movie. Like, who would win one v one, Maximus or Achilles? Achilles, no diff. It's not even close. Not even close? No, hell no. Shit! No, he, he, has no, he has zero chance. We did a whole thing. I did a whole thing maybe like a year ago about all like the top people. Yeah. Um, like in those types of movies, like Leonidas, Achilles, um, uh, Maximus, Spartacus. Um, like did like a, a Royal Rumble, but Achilles is is watch that show. Achilles is is somewhat of a demigod. You know what I mean? Some people depict him as that. The movie. Didn't like fully do it because I ain't gonna hold you. Just it, but but that's but that's that's the only vulnerable part. That's an Achilles story. That yeah. was the story. That's always been his story. Yeah, that's called yeah. the Achilles tendon yeah. Yeah. Achilles. because of that care that person. That's really the reason. Really, that's the that's the tendon that brought down the the greatest warrior. They, they you probably didn't know that. They, that's why not. that's called the Achilles tendon is because of Achilles the 
character. I did not know mm-hmm. that. Which... Yeah. Once it brought him down, they just started saying that's the most vulnerable part of the human body because it brought him down. They named it after that story. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Which I'm... Now you're thinking about it. You're like, that is, that's is—that's the Achilles tendon. It's it's crazy because a lot of movies and shows I've seen, if they, you know, hit that, you know, yeah, it's over. You, you going down. <laughs> but I mean, that wasn't, you know, it was an off guard. He was, he was vulnerable at that time. Yeah. But, but, even like the way he threw the spear, you know, they, they stated it was an impossible throw. Like a man can't throw like that. Facts. He was shown to be more, but nah, he's he's no Maximus wasn't even stated to be the best fighter in the in the the verse. He was just doing his thing as the gladiator. Achilles was considered the greatest swordsman of all, ever to yeah. ever live. It's a whole different Facts. type of yeah. fighter. You know what I mean? <sighs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> I love Maximus though. I was about to say, God damn, I, would, I would actually like to see that fight. And he was, and he's in, a, he was a little bit older. You know what I mean? Uh, he was out of his prime. Like, yeah. nah, bro, he, ain't, okay. he, he don't want none of that, bro. All right, okay. He don't want none okay. of that. Okay. okay. The okay. way he showed up and, and, and did a one v one with Hector, nah, Ma- Maximus don't want none of that, bro. <laughs> I love Maximus though. All right, the Dark Knight, the Dark Knight is better than the Batman. Dark Knight is better than the Batman. So, hot take. Yes, the Batman is better. The Batman's better? I say the Batman's better. Hear me out. I have I have a bias. Okay. I, I do have a bias. Because I've been wanting Twilight. You know what I'm saying? I, can't, I forget his name all the time. I've been wanting Robert Twilight. Pattinson? There you go. I've been wanting Twilight to be Batman for a minute. You did before they announced yeah. it? Yes. That's yes. so random. No, 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 no. But I wanted him to be Terry McGinnis. I want to hear oh, Terry McGinnis. Got you. So, ever since I saw Twilight, I was just like, damn, like, he will be a dope ass, of course, after, you know, uh, Christian Bale's Batman, things of that nature. I was like, damn, like, I want to, because, I mean, Batman Beyond is one of my favorite, like, you know what I'm saying, anime shows for Batman. Batman but it's almost everybody's. Uh, facts. And I'm just saying, I'm like, yo, Patterson would be the dopest Terry McGinnis. Fire. <laughs> I got to say so. Fire. What? Every time you say his name. Patton, Patton, what a Patton! You'd have called him Patterson <laughs> about about call, three different don't episodes. That's why I call him Twilight. That's why I call him Twilight. Hey, hey, Patterson, saying, Pattinson. I'm, I'm messing saying, with you, dog. I'm messing with you. It's been at least like three <laughs> impound podcasts, and I've always told them after. I always tell them, okay, like it's Pattinson, not Patter, but he just he just, Pattinson. Yeah, Pattinson. Pat, sounds very, you're, sounds very. You're not alone. A lot of people do that. Sounds very sophisticated. Pat- but every time I hear it, I'm like, <laughs> that's why I call him Twilight. <laughs> look, 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 Twilight. But oh, oh, seriously, for the Batman, I like Christian. I love Christopher Nolan's Batman. I love his take on it. I love the direction of it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't it wasn't necessarily a story anyway. It was just his take on what Batman is. And the Dark Knight, of course, Heath Ledger's performance, he carried honestly throughout the whole fucking uh, movie. However... I've been wanting to see a Batman year one. In this case, it was Batman year two. And I really feel like Twilight embodied the shit out of who Bruce Wayne was at that time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Christian Bale, like I said, a dope to me, not a good Batman, but great Bruce Wayne. You know, that's, that's just my take. But again, you know, it's it's just... You will never have a performance like Heath Ledger. You will never have a performance like Heath Ledger for a Joker. Yeah. And for this next possible, you know, Joker for the Batman, uh, I think I, th- I think they're actually going to go with Hush. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I think so. That's what they're, that's that's what's been suggested. Okay. Okay. But the the route that this Batman is going with, along with his supportive cast of Colin Farrell being the freaking Penguin, like there's so much into the Batman that made this feel like Gotham, like the Sopranos even. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I'm like, damn. Yes, like, Heath has done his thing. Heath done his shit. But for me, looking at an overall aspect, I'm going with the Batman. All right. Not by a lot, but All right. the Batman. I know you're going with Dark Knight, so go ahead. Hell no, the Batman ain't better than the Dark Knight. You don't get the hell out of my face. No damn way. The hell out of here. Yeah. No, look. Yeah. So here's the thing. I agree with, uh, I, I definitely think uh, Pattinson is better than Bale. Yeah. Uh, I love Bale, but I definitely think Pattinson is the best depiction of Batman. But I also feel like so many people say that, which I can agree with. But then they just ignore the fact that the Riddler was horrendous. 
That was a terrible <laughs> depiction of the of the Riddler. Hold so on. it's like, okay. I tried, to, I tried to leave him out. Yeah, there. it's like, <laughs> yes, okay, we can say the Batman part is a little bit more right. But the the Riddler is so far that that was I hated the Riddler. But I did love I love Colin Farrell's Penguin. Good Lord. Yeah, and I love the show. Right. I, I love uh, it's, it's debatably already to me in the conversation of the greatest uh, live action uh, superhero series, mm. like a TV series. Like I love it, and it, you don't have to like superhero stuff to like this show. Facts. You know, like you said, I love the cross of like Gotham if it was in a soprano sense. I think the Batman did a better job with Gotham as well. Yes. And uh but uh I it just wasn't exciting enough. I just think it was so bland for so long. Um but but I liked it. I just don't think it's I don't think it's better. I and even um I like most of it though, but but like I said, I I did not like the Riddler. At are you, are you saying because of the build up as far as like being bland? You know what I'm saying? Just from just felt like it was just they they spent more time working on trying to make sure it was cinematically beautiful and not exciting. But but to be fair, okay. To be fair, I didn't love uh, Batman Begins like that either. And Didn't it's either. since it's the first, I did like it, but since it's the first, the Batman, I have higher hopes for the second one, yeah. which will be the more equivalent to the Dark Knight because okay. they did have to build out Robert Pattinson first. So it's, it is a little unfair to, to uh, compare the first movie to a second film where they could just jump straight into the action. And the crazy thing, which is why I like the buildup, it's only because they're showing Batman when he they, he's literally in his maybe early to mid twenties like yeah. this is but so was the Batman I mean Batman Begins though was he yeah we, I mean we watched him become a ninja we watched oh, his yeah, yeah going through we the, literally through watched him become yeah. a year one bat the uh, yeah. Batman I just think people just didn't look, I think the difference with Robert Pattinson is he had more of that detective approach he felt more comic book accurate yeah and Christian Bale was a little bit more yeah. rogue yeah. Um, so that's that's the, to me is the clear difference between them beyond the performance is the Batman we got to see him actually become a detective yeah uh, Christian Bells was just ninja and let's get the fight going Riddler you know what I mean the Riddler was horrible I, uh, the Riddler was terrible though I couldn't stand that crazy enough I didn't think it was the Riddler because yeah it, it didn't even look like him it didn't like it looked like Hush it looked it, like Hush and it, and it feels like it feels like a part of like the Batman problems is they're all trying to tr chase this Heath Ledger high. Yeah. Where, because I felt that way when they had Lex Luthor and Batman versus Superman. It's like, why is Lex Luthor acting like that? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, for one, why did they cast that dude as Lex Luthor? I love that dude I as love an actor. Him. I love him but as an actor. Why but... is this Heath, uh, uh, not Heath Ledger? Why is this Lex Luthor to begin with? Let's start with that. But he was still like so witty and. It was like yeah. they, they all keep trying to make everyone two Joker. Facts. And even when I did see Batman vs. Superman, I saw Homie as Lex. I was like, I'm like, wait a minute. What are we doing? Is this like his son? Or is this like what? What are we the, doing? What are we doing? Because Lex is always portrayed as this, I mean, stocked I did a, up, yeah. ball. Lex Luthor will beat up out. almost everyone on earth that's a regular. Yeah. Like, the thing is, someone said this. I saw someone say, what makes Lex Luthor. So uh, such an interesting character and why he's a great villain to Superman is because he is the perfect or peak person on intellect, fit, wealth, and this is somebody more perfect than him. Yeah. And no matter what he does to build himself up, which he cares about building himself up, he could never match Clark. And that's why he's mad at Clark. That's why he has such a gripe with Clark because he <laughs> looks at himself. Exists. He looks at himself as the ultimate peak human being. Oh well, yeah, yeah, peak being. Yeah, and then this dude shows up, <laughs> who's more perfect than he could ever be, and that just pisses him off. <laughs> he stole his shorty. He stole Lois yeah. Lane. And he yeah. got the ribs. He yeah, got, as they say, he's they never not been the top of the food chain until this dude shows up. Nice. I was like, yeah, that's it. That's okay. actually the perfect way of explaining it in my I, mind. I, 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 def, I definitely can't agree. But yeah, to me, but like I said, to me, but I have a bias. I think the Batman was better than Batman Begins. Not by sure. a lot. Not Dark by, Knight, we're saying. I mean, yeah, yeah. Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dark Knight. Not by, not by a lot. Because Riddler really fucked that up. But I think it is because how they shot and made Gotham.
That part of it is fire. And how they're oh continuing the story with the penguin yes. is making it even better. Like, bro, how they literally tied it up. I think it was episode four when, you know what I'm saying, homie was literally th- or basically reminiscing about when he was just chilling, you know what I'm saying, with the with the little girl and, you know what I'm saying, they was yeah. about to head back to the crib and then, boom, the uh, uh, the freaking bombs go off and then oh, literally yeah. the water goes through and smashes through his house. Yeah, like, that's how I said. I think I, I got to be fair and wait till the second one comes out. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's where I'm at with it today. Oh, I'm, as of right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. I know I'm gonna get some slack for it. I don't want really to. I it mean, uh, no. I'll say this: <laughs> the Batman Dark Knight debate is a real debate. That's not a that's not a one sided argument. There's a lot of people who think the Batman is better. That's why I. I that. Yeah, it's that's not that's Put not a comments. Put it in the comments. Yeah, that's not a that's not a one that's a two way street debate for sure. So I, I just don't agree. You know what I mean? But yeah. But yeah, nah. We're gonna wrap up this one. That's just... <laughs> We're gonna wrap up this one. <laughs> Easy enough. I appreciate enough. y'all and I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate y'all for coming back, man. I appreciate you as always, my Ah, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> <Kevin Moore. laughs> well, that's another episode of the Impound Podcast. I'm the writer and the creator of the Impound Universe, Brent Trey Sands, and my co-host Kyron Shank. Yes, sir. Love y'all, man. Holla at y'all. One time for the one time. Yeah. Oh, why you gonna take <laughs> you gonna take my shit? Thank you for watching another video by Impound Comics. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.